Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. Now in this video we're supposed to do split cards, but I found an error or I found a small problem. Now if I go here, so at the moment we've got my cards equals an array of objects, okay? So let's just draw it. So at the moment I do cards. So first this, you get two that two cards. A pair of eighties. And how we're gonna split it is we're gonna just set that to that, copy that and put it onto the first empty one. But we also got a count on here for the called the split count. So let me just say, let's just call it SC. So here it will be equal to naught. I mean one. Here it's equal to SC two. <coughs> Now what if on the next card they both got eight again? I suppose it was eight five and he got a pair of eights again. So that would be fine. And for here you do the split count, you add that by one, and that'll be split count to three. But what if we reverse that? So what if he got the five and he got the eight? So the split count will be two here, but that's already two. So as you can see, having the split count as a property on this object is not going to work. Okay. Now, there is, a, there is a way to force it to work. What you could do is, you'd have to get this whole object and you'd have to find the value of the maximum of this, the maximum value of this. So for instance, in this case, what he do is when he's here, he look for the maximum value. The maximum value of this will be two, so he will just say, "Okay, I'm going to be three." And then if that was split, he has to go and look in the array again and find the maximum value. That will probably work, and it may well bring you some more bugs. However, to me, um, the game. I've just started programming, so to be honest, that's not, that's not, to me, this isn't a good solution. So the solution I've thought of is either, either have a property on the player, or you can have, have the property on the cards, and I think having the property on the cards is a good thing. That's the way to do it, I think, because you pass the cards around, and in this thing, we pass the cards around quite a lot. Okay, so what I propose to do is um, my cards, I'm going to change it. This my card, I'm going to change it to this dot my cards. This stuff, my cards, my cards. That's what I'm going to change it to. So it's going to look like this. Dot. Oh no, I spot it. Bang. It's going to look like that. This stuff, my card. Equals. And then I'm going to have my. And it's going to look like that, and then I kind of have a property on here called split count. And then every time I split, I can just increment that property by one, and I have to do any searches. And it's going to be, it's not going to have any bugs, there's going to be no bugs in it because it's just going to, every single time you split, you're just going to increment it by one. Okay, I think that's the easiest way to do it. So, um, 
Now, to be honest, a lot of programmers won't say have their mind to do something like this. They don't want to change their mind. I don't know why. But I'm a, I'm a programmer who I've got no problem destroying my code and, and doing it a completely different way. If I see see that it's going to be a different way, that's going to be better. Okay. So to do this, before I do anything, I need to fix the tests. Because I just want to change it, do a test, and say, okay, it's passed the test, so I don't have to do anything else. Rather than having to mess around. So on this test card, I had some tests in here, they worked. So I want to do a similar thing to here. Okay. So what I want to do is, I want to close this, and then what I want to do is, I want to pause the video, and then when I open up like this, now you can see here, I've done all the tests, and uh, Basically, it was exactly what we had before, but I've just put this thing in here. So after I change the object over, it's going to change from that to that. Okay. So I've done the test, so can we test it? And it's one of these ones where um, if you don't get nothing back, then at least it's worked. Okay, so now... If I close that, when I do test, it tests, it does two tests, so that's good. Okay, so now, I can change this, I'll start from here, I'm called work all the way down. So I want to change this to, let me just copy that. I want to change it to uh, I want to change it to that and then my card is going to be empty and uh, what's it called again? split count Starts at zero. Okay. So we set of cards that have a split count and my cards for the reasons I said earlier. So now that that's changed, our test should break. Oh, it's not a very good test, is it? Let me have a look. This, okay. It's overwriting it. Because when he resets it, it overrides this my card back to what it should be. So that's why it passes. Okay. Mm. So that's one. Some array is not affected. Reset. Okay. I can see what's happening here. Um, this is how to think. I'm going to think this out. Okay, I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do this to that. I was gonna change it to a I was gonna change this to a um, to a destructor. But the problem with that is this line here, if this was a destructure, this line here will create the reference. Okay. So, uh, in fact, it might break the reference now, but I'm going to see. Uh, if this doesn't work, I know that it's going to be because of this. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it now, but in my mind, I know that if it doesn't work, it's because of the work on this. Another way I may do it is by doing. Um, let item equals um, 
my cards. I. Okay, or I could do my cards I equals naught equals equals. Yeah, I can just do that. Okay, and then I take this line out. But all I want to do is I'm gonna comment this out. If it doesn't work, I know that it's gonna fail in here. Okay. So that's that. My cards now here. Add card. I've used the destructor, so all I've got to do is. Oops, not there. If I put that there. Because I've used the destructor and I'm not resetting it, I'm just reading it. I can do that, and that's going to work. Populate cards. I'm going to have to do this. Okay, and I'll take it out from here. And uh, that should be it. Let me do my testing now. Can that be property of undefined? It's just, I think it's failed. Obviously, I'm going to do this first. Let me just set that to false. And now it's passed. Okay, but I need to check it again. Because, um, I can do a quick test. Let's just set that to true. So that will make us, that will sort of be very, very bold now. Okay, so let me just move this down. And if you can see seven, I can see the hands are coming out exactly the same as it was before. Okay. Um, so, as you can see, we've now changed it to the new format. So, on the, on the, um, on the next video, we can carry on with the splits. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Until next time, bye.